Okay, um, hello, my name is Camila Gonzalez. Um, I'm from Spain and I used to be the chair of the network. I started off as uh, something like communications manager and the second year of the network I, I became the chair. She was amongst the team that founded the network. So we were starting our master's project and we thought there was no um, student or young professional group that would represent us as, as a you know, multivariate team of professionals and we decided to create it for ourselves. So I uh, became a PhD uh, two years ago and now I'm working as a postdoc researcher at the Fight Foundation Against uh, AIDS and Infectious Diseases. So I work, uh, well, my specialty is on uh, field implementation and international projects on uh, neglect tropical diseases. So um, it was a bit odd. I studied biology in college, the five-year major, and then I did my master's at IL Global in uh, Global Health. And after that, I went straight, I, I found a PhD program in Lisbon. Um, it was a PhD on global public health. So basically, it was all quite, um, you know, continuous. Um, there was no breaks in between. <laughs> um, I would say, like, adapt and say yes to anything that comes along. Basically. Um, you know, even if you have in mind that you want to do something with your future, uh, don't be afraid to try something else and start off in a completely different uh, area. Because uh, as long as you, you find your way in, then you can, you know, redirect your career towards what you really want. But to begin with, it's, it's a very um, challenging arena, I think. Global health is very, it's not, it's not very solid. There is no like one path. So just start off with whatever you can find. And because uh, I mean, when it comes to research and international international programs, it's all pretty much the same little world. So you'll find your way eventually. I've always wanted to work in the field. Uh, I'm not really an office person, so my job allows me to travel a lot, which is something that I like, and uh, and to like go to these really amazing places like uh, PNG and West Africa and so on. So I love that. At every point in my life, there is a scheduled trip to some place that I don't know or that I'm really, uh, you know, a stranger to, and that's very exciting. And it also has a very strong, like, even though I do uh, epidemiology and, and research, it has a very strong humanitarian component because we work with uh, children in really remote communities. So I think that's something I also always love to, to actually, you know, not work with data but with people to be able to see the people I'm, I'm working with and, and kind of helping somehow. That's really nice. I would love to work in uh, science communication and journalism for, for non-scientific audience. I think that's a very important uh, job is to, to tell, you know, non, let's say, science people what we do and how important it is to, to uh, I think, to everyone's health, not just uh, you know, medicine-wise, but economically and, and in so many other aspects. Uh, I love music very much. <laughs> um, I play a couple of instruments and I love to read. And of course, I love to travel, which is something I also do when I'm not working. <laughs> Global health is just um, a tool that, like, as my friend used to say, it's a lens you put to whatever work you're doing, whatever job you have, whether you work in economy, in anthropology, or in history. Uh, you put the lens of global health and you see things towards a common goal, which is improving people's health worldwide. So um, it's, not, it's not so much a subject as, as a skill or as a, or as a tool, actually. to be working on a field that not many people work on, so it's easy to find 
and niche and easy to make a change because you know neglected tropical diseases are neglected for a reason <laughs> are called this way for a reason so with our programs with actually um how you say it? we have managed to put a new disease on the picture uh on the you know global health agenda and now there is there is eradication date there is a drug that is available that is free for all countries that are endemic on this drug so since like before we started there was nothing of this the disease was just something from the 50s that no one really cared about now it's it's on the agenda it's going to be hopefully eradicated and um, it's uh, free and we, ex we know exactly what we have to do. We know how to do it. It's just a matter of finding enough money to do it. But it's actually really exciting to see the beginning and end of, uh, of the history of a disease. Okay, I would tell them to join a network, to meet a lot of people. I would tell them to honestly make, make contact and there is so many, so many professional exits to global health. You, you don't even know the name of all of them. I, there is so many options for you, and there is a perfect option for you, no matter what weird background you have, what combination you've done, whether it's medicine or, or history or economics, doesn't matter. So you, in order to find about this, this not even jobs, but positions and, and, and roles, uh, you need to get to know a lot of people and get to know a lot of projects and programs around the world. So I think joining this network is a very good way to start. Thank <laughs> you.